Hello. When I say to you, Marx was an atheist, I'm not saying anything new. And if I am, I have to ask you on which planet have you li lived lately? He was an atheist from an early age, apparently, because after his studies in the university, in his doctoral dissertation about the natural philosophy of Democritus and Epicurus, he allies himself with Epicurean atheism, and uh, he makes an analogy in this dissertation between religious alienation and alienation in the economic life. He refers to uh, the Kant's refutation of ontological arguments for the existence of God, and he writes, the ontological proof merely amounts to this. What I really imagine is for me a real imagination that reacts upon me, and in this sense, all gods, heathen as well as Christian, had a real existence. And now he talks about money. Real pounds have the same existence as imagined gods. Surely there is no place where a real pound can exist apart from the general or rather collective imagination of men. Take paper money into a land where the use of such money is not known, and everyone would, will laugh at your sub subjective imagination. Go with your gods into another land where other gods hold sway, and it will be proved to you that you are suffering from fanciful dreams. Rightly so. What a particular land is for particular foreign gods, the land of reason is for God in general, an area in which his existence ceases. <clears throat> he was also influenced by the young Hegelian movement, members of which, like David Strauss and uh, Bruno Bauer, who was his friend, although they stayed idealists, they proved that in philosophical terms, in Hegelian, uh, using Hegelian principles and method, by the way, that no one religion, uh, Christianity or any other, can claim to uh, hold absolute truths. Another strong person uh, who influenced Karl Marx a lot was Ludwig Feuerbach. Feuerbach asserted that God was the product of man's imagination, that men projected man's power uh, and his own attributes onto a deity. And they objectified this deity and uh, then became subservient to it because this objectification got a life of its own. And uh, Feuerbach also claimed that all the evils in the history of humankind were due to uh, religion. And once religion was a religion uh, alienation was done away with, then uh, <coughs> harmony and uh, good life between men will come. Marx objected to that because to him, religious alienation was not the start of it. It was only a reflection of other uh, contradictions that exist in human society, mainly uh, due contradictions that are due to the economic relations. And <clears throat> Marx was also oh, foremost a uh, naturalist. He considered man to be a part and product of nature. Man to him was also a product of social relations. Man in is isolation wouldn't become what man is. Uh, he becomes what he is and gets the uh, consciousness that he has only in relation with other human beings, in social contacts. And 
Here, uh, Marx said that there is no sense in putting the question of the creator of the world, since this question presupposes the unreal situation of the non-existence of nature and man, a situation which cannot be posited as even as a fictive starting po point. I'll, I'll read a quotation uh, by it. This will be the last one. By inquiring as to the creation of nature and man, you abstract both from both man and nature. You assume their non-existence and yet wish to have it proved that they exist. Let me tell you then that if you give up your abstraction, you will likewise aban abandon your question. Since the essentiality of man and nature has become something practical, sensual, and evident, since man has become for man practically, sensually, and evidently the being of nature, and nature has become for man the being of man, the question of a foreign being over and above both man and nature has become a practical impossibility. Atheism, as a denial of that non-essentiality, is also meaningless. For atheism consists in denying the existence of God and establishing man's being on that denial. This is all for Marx's atheism. Until next time.